Did a lot of shit for the flip, came a long way for the play. Ayy, they say you get what you get. Well, I got a lot coming my way. Ayy, did a lot of shit for the flip. What is going on, everybody? I'm the Progress Nerd, and welcome to. Welcome back, actually, I should say, to Forza Horizon 3. Today we are going to be doing a drift build of the Mazda Savannah RX-7. So let's get started by finding a... Uh, sorry if you could hear some background noise, that was just me messing with some stuff uh, that had to be done in the mean... well, whatever. Um, well, it doesn't look like the game wants to uh, give me options to watch or uh, to show the page works, so that's perfect. Uh, wasn't going to go with one anyway. That's what I'm saying now, but I actually would have gone with one if I would have found a cool one. Anywho. So this is one of the new cars from the... I'll have to look at what it was called again. From the latest car pack. From whatever. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, so but this is the one of the cars from the latest car pack and it's pretty amazing. Also, um, I'm going to have to say that the... That I've played quite a bit off camera so yeah Ooh, rotary turbos that 13 b is looking so nice I don't know about you but I always love 13 bs and in general RX-7s and some well actually the RX-8 is pretty nice That's looking pretty mean. So I'm going to go with it. Uh, wait, uh, wait. Quad rotor? Yeah, I'll go with that. Why not? Why the hell not? So yeah. Um, it's just like I said, we're going to do a drift build on this beast. Let me have an underneath the horsepower. Quite a lot for a street car, but this is going to be a drift car, so not as much as I would have expected, at least. So yeah, how's your day been? My day has been fine, mighty fine. 295 is in the rear, nice. Um, Let's first start off by upping the tire size to 18s. Um, so yeah, um, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the week of farming simulator that we did. Um, this week and the next few weeks you'll probably still see farming simulator coming. I mean, as long as I keep enjoying the game I'll keep uploading it. Um, but yeah, last week was a week full of farming simulator, mainly because uh, I wanted to get, uh, well, kind of caught up with the game and with the recording. And now that I'm kind of caught up with the regular uh, recording uh, for farming simulator, I'll uh, start doing some normal content. Uh, uh, mixed in with it and maybe soon uh, depending on schedules etc I'll be starting a server play series on Minecraft with some of my friends uh, no the server is not open to the public for anybody who was wondering this is strictly a um, whitelist server for, well, us friends. That's the reason why, uh, and I'm not going to go into further detail about it, 
that's just the way it is and that's how it's going to stay for now at least Ooh, that's actually pretty nice yeah I'm going to go with that one but is this a yeah it's a new Forza wing new stylized I don't like it I'm not a big fan of it Yeah, I'm going to keep the hood. Um, so it's still rear wheel drive. Yeah, that's great. Sorry, that was probably one of the quickest drift builds that I've done so far, to be honest. So yeah. Um, Let's tune it and test it out next day. And also, later today, I will be recording finally some episodes with uh, Louis. So, yeah, that'll be interesting. Um, I think it'll be fun as well. Also, I'm going to be making some channel art for Louis. Um, so, when you see uh, his new channel with channel art, you'll know that I made this, <laughs> or you'll be able to know that I made it. Anywho, um, so yeah, that's just about all the setting up I need to do. And um, so yeah, I played quite a bit off camera, which is how I progressed to uh, this. Horizon hub in the forest, but we are going to go back to. Uh, well, actually, we're going to be searching for some good drifting roads first, uh, which I still haven't found any great drifting roads. Um, I have found some good uh, off-road uh, rally roads, but. Not quite drifting, unfortunately. So yeah, I mean, I really hope that they do a map expansion for this game and that it will include some drifting because... Yeah, that won't be good for the game if they uh, neglect drifting. But we're going to try out here, just to see um, how that this drifting or how that this place uh, fares for drifting and I mean if you have found any good drifting roads make sure to tweet me a picture um, the script in the description you'll be able to find my Twitter profile. So yeah. Anyway, oh, I just love the sound of this. Especially when it's in a white party RX7, and I don't really care which RX7 it is, like this Savannah RX7 actually looks quite nice, to be honest. And I'm just quite good, but just, I mean, I wish that Forza would come with something like a steering lock kit in their games. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that would be extremely nice if they would be. I'm not going to bet any money on it. Because Forza is Forza and uh, they do what they want with their game, which, fair enough, it's their game, you know. But, uh, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, drifting because. Yeah, you have very minimal steering lock, even with a wide body kit, which I don't really get why, but hey. I mean, it would be nice to see some wide body that also gives you some improved steering lock, which hasn't been the case as of yet. And it shouldn't be all that hard to do because uh, depending on 
which engine they are using, probably an in-house engine. Uh, it's, it shouldn't be all that hard to work. Do you know they, they probably just have to avoid collision uh, between the car and the body, which most game engines nowadays support to filter your collision better. Which I mean, they are able to uh, change collision. For instance, in online freedom, or uh, not online freedom, but in online races, you can set the collision to be after uh, for other players which I mean when you are able to turn it up for other players to still keep collisions with the environment down you could also be able to turn off collisions for your uh, for certain parts in your car which I'm going to guess that's also how they are able to enforce a vista show you the engine because it probably turned off collision on the engine uh, with any other part so I don't know it should be easy to uh, accomplish but who am I you know I don't work there uh, although I am someone who is learning game development in his free time and I know how most uh, concepts within game design work in game development. I mean, it can be that they are limited by their own engine that they made in house, which still is a fairly common practice in game development for AAA tires like this to have an in house game engine. But anyways, that was a bit of a uh, technology ramble for this video. Uh, I'm sorry if I get really random looking videos at some point. But that's just my mind. It's My mind's random. And the shit I think about is not exactly shit everybody would think about. But hey, that's life. So yeah, um, how's your week been? Uh, let me know if you are, uh, if you want me to continue the Let's Play on Farming Simulator as a weekly series, a bi-weekly series. Um, I'll try to get a get up a video every other day from now on. But chances are that I'll uh, at some point, probably next week. Um, because today I have a long recording day. Oh jeez. That was a... Uh, <clears throat> I came in a bit too hard for that trip. Well tap. So yeah, um, chances are that... Uh, that videos will be coming for the young. Uh, I just woke up, so and it's quite early. That's how I'm actually able to record this video. Uh, I'm going to try to record as many videos today as possible. Again, one full day of recording. Probably, I'm hoping to manage to get out a video every other day or every day, depending on my luck at your destination <laughs> with time for today so yeah um what was i going to say um jeez uh, wow time is flying fast we're all like already at 14 minutes whilst it feels like i just got started recording yeah. so yeah i mean just uh, give me some feedback on my uh, videos uh, every once in a while. Let me know whether I'm doing well or what can be improved. And also this is something I'm going to quickly touch on because um, recently I got some troll slash hate comments. Which I'm 
quite easy about it. If you're going to be leaving troll comments or hateful comments, there's this nice feature on YouTube which is called hide all comments from this person. And basically, when you take that, only the person that comments on that video can see his or her comment, but the rest of the people can't hear it. And I'm not uh, saying that you aren't allowed to critique me, because criticizing me can actually be helpful for the channel. But leaving hate comments isn't. With saying hateful shit, you don't really help a creator improve. So that's why I basically hide those people from my channel as soon as I see the comments. Which most often is within a few minutes of them posting it. So basically think before you comment shitty things. But yeah, I mean... Criticizing is all fine with me. I mean, <laughs> that's just, it improves the content. But make sure to criticize in a uh, way that you like to be criticized. Don't just be like, oh, your videos suck. And then just don't say which aspect of them suck. Give me some uh, descriptive description on what it is that can be improved on the video rather than just saying that they suck or whatever and i mean if you don't like me as a person then just don't watch the videos that's as simple as it gets you know and i'm <coughs> i'm going to guess that i know uh, the people who are who are who did users comments on a personal level and i know that it's most likely a troll, but I just don't take uh, trolls even like that. I just am very easy with it, uh, as I've shown. And just take that into consideration before you leave comments on my videos. And again, don't be afraid to criticize my content, but if you do, Give me an explanation on what I can improve to make it not as bad as um, And don't just blatantly say it. And also, like, the thing that those people don't understand is that when they uh, leave a hate comment or a troll comment, it's just they don't really achieve anything because their comments won't be viewed by other people at least on my video and they still give the creators a view and every view gives a creator more exposure so in some way I'm actually grateful for their comments and even if they leave a dislike it just shows viewer interaction which viewer interaction to YouTube is very important. So, and it helps channels get out there, which is also why I always ask you to share the videos, like them, uh, subscribe to my channel if you are new, and leave comments on the videos about uh, maybe some feedback, what I can talk about in the next video, or stuff like that. Um, that's just when you comment on a video, it gives the it gives the YouTube algorithm it shows it more viewer interaction, and when you get more viewer interaction, YouTube is more um, YouTube uh, feels more compelled to give you more exposure because YouTube basically says like well this guy is obviously doing something right because he gets so much viewer interaction and that's well positive to be honest and that's how you are able to help my channel get out there and I really appreciate when you uh, 
when you leave those comments. Uh, and I really appreciate every bit of uh, sharing that you do. And I just appreciate everything that you do for me. Also, I just found a skill song, which actually is pretty cool. I haven't had that, I haven't seen it yet. So that's interesting. But I'm trying to talk over it because um, group music doesn't really want to work with my uh, no copyright uh, song. Uh, so just because of that, I uh, I really have to figure out group music and how to get it to work with Horizon Free with my copyright free music. So that I mean. That's how you are able to see which song is playing at that moment. And you're able to listen to some music at probably the right volume. Uh, which <coughs> makes it so that I don't have to edit in the music and then spend usually a bit, it's about half an hour to an hour filling with the volume, making sure that everything sounds correct. Also, always let me know that if the volume of the music is up or wrong. Make sure to always tell me in the comment section down below. That's how I'm able to do something about it. It's, I'm not able to do something about it uh, if you don't tell me. And by improving things like that, I improve the content, which will make you and other people more likely to enjoy the videos. And I mean, if you enjoy it, always leave a like. Again, it's that's the only thing I ask from you is to leave a like if you enjoy this video because I really would appreciate it. Leave some nice comments, some helpful comments, some critique. Uh, I don't really care as long as it helps the channel out in a positive way. Um, and always, I mean, make sure that if you are able to. Uh, help this channel out by sharing it on your social media make sure to do it um, because the more people watch my content the more likely a creator such as me is uh, the more likely we are to actually um, make more content for you so that you can actually enjoy it more of our videos. Oh, fuck's sake, you piss and wanker. You had to cut me up into. Well, that was 3k skill po or 300k skill points. Done. Shut up, Anna. Um, so, yeah. Today will be a. a day filled with video recording and probably I'll going to edit and upload this video as soon as possible so that you are able to do it as well I okay, came not as soon as possible but just today um, which I've decided to upload my um, farming simulator series at a time that's comfortable or is better for European people to watch because in general uh, most of my farming simulator videos have done, or the largest percentage of views on my farming simulator videos has come from within Europe as is expected because it's a more popular game in Europe than it is in America. But because Forza is an internationally <coughs> a popular game, Basically, that's why I'm uploading that still at around. Uh, yeah, between 8 and 10 p.m. my time. Also, today I woke up at 6 p.m. So, and I've just seen how long we've been recording for, and this has been a very talky episode. Anyways. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, tell me in the comment section what you thought of it. And uh, if you disliked it, you know what to do.
but I've been the Procrastinator. Nerd. This has been Forza Horizon 3, a draft build of the Savannah RX-7, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.